Hello everyone, it's Meg and welcome to another weekend reading vlog. So it is Friday and I actually finished work early today. I finished at half twelve even though my colleague didn't turn up until nearly one o'clock. But I have a rather busy and fun weekend so I thought I would make a vlog out of it. So as you can see, the sun is shining in. We have had beautiful weather over the past few days. Hopefully there's going to be no more storms because we've had about three here in the UK and it has been a while. So we're going to take advantage of the weather, do some outdoor bits and do some planning. I've got quite a lot of stuff that I need to do. So yeah, I just thought I would film it all for you guys. So I will start off with sharing with you guys what I'm currently reading. And physically I am reading Dangerous Alliance by Jenna Key Cohen. This hasn't got dust stuck on. This is what dust stuck it looks like and I'm not very far into this I am on page 84 and so not very far in and I am enjoying it I feel like it's not exactly how I thought it would be I am enjoying it I just feel like it's get, taking me a little while to get used to the writing but we'll see what happens when we get in but I'm on a massive like Jane Austen slash classics binge at the moment because I finished reading Emma earlier this week and I really, really enjoyed it because I went to go and see the film, so I wanted to read the book afterwards, and I really, really enjoyed it. So I wanted to read something else ostentatious, so I'm reading this, and we'll see how it goes for the rest of the week. And then I'm not listening to any audiobooks at the moment because the Animal Crossing and Backlist Readathon start on Monday, and I do technically listening to a non-fiction novel at the moment, but... I'm not really, in, I don't really want to listen to that right now, it's just not my thing, so I'm just going to wait because I have an audiobook for the readathon. And speaking of readathon, I actually need to do some prep for the readathon over the this weekend. I need to do some spreads in my diary because I really want to do an Animal Crossing one especially. And I also need to go and get one of the books from the library. And so that is something that I need to do as well and just kind of make sure I'm all ready and planned because... I have a big photography event that I'm going to next week and then the YA Lit Fest the week after which is very fun. And then since I got home from work early and also hopefully on Sunday I am going to do some filming so after this I'm going to chill for a minute and then hopefully maybe film a video or two especially because the light is pretty good and hopefully I can do some filming on Sunday afternoon as well which will be fun. And also there is a book fair happening in one of the local towns this weekend which is also very exciting and I think it's at a local library or a church or something so obviously I have to go and see if there are any good books even though I'm on a book buying ban and haven't done very well so far but yes that is my plan just basically do lots of filming do prep for the readathons and also go to this book fair and I need to maybe I need to do a bit of work today as well like photography work so I need to do a bit of that and just do some final preparations for the next few weeks but yeah I just thought I would film it so that's what we're doing it is actually 20 past one now so I'm going to chill for a minute and then I'm going to maybe film a video or two because your girl is running out of videos and I like to pre-film so yeah and also whilst I've got my makeup on as well from work, it saves me from having to put it on to film as many videos later on in the week. So that is my plan right now. So I'm going to go and chill for a bit and then get ready to film and I will catch you guys in a bit. So it's quite a lot later on now, I think. A couple of hours. It's half four and I have just filmed five videos and which is pretty cool. I usually try to turn to film four to five videos at a time just because it's easier for me than having to film once a week. And I wasn't expected to film that many. I was expected to film maybe two, possibly three, but I filmed five. And they are literally all the videos that I have planned out that are like sit down videos. So I might not have to film on Sunday, which would be pretty cool, unless if I can think of some more ideas to film. But I'm really glad that I got to do it, even though I should have been doing photography work as well, but I'm gonna have to go and do that now. But yeah. I'm really glad I got to do that because I am in desperate need of some new sit-down videos. But I also have some fun vlogs that are hopefully going to be coming at some point in the future. Once I'm fully out of my reading slump because the struggle is real right now. So I'm going to sort myself out and tidy everything away and all that jazz. And then I'm going to do a bit of work maybe 
maybe cook some tea. I kind of tempted to go on a run because the weather is beautiful. But yeah, I'm gonna do all of that sort of thing and take my makeup off because I've got some spots right here and they are really sore, which hasn't helped from talking so much. So I'm gonna go and put everything away and then go and do some proper work instead of filming videos. And I will see you guys at some point later. Hello and happy Saturday. So it is Saturday morning now. I didn't update you guys yesterday. I basically went for a run and faffed about and then I watched Drag Race all evening so you know fun times and this morning I've just gone sorted that thin I've come back and it's just past 11 o'clock now so I'm planning on going to the book fair that I was talking to you guys about yesterday and I'm also going to go and try and get my fringe cut because my hairdresser's is across the road from where this book fair is which is very exciting so I will obviously take you guys along with me and hope maybe buy some books but hopefully not too many because like I said before I am on a book buying ban and I'm not doing a very good job so far but I'll give you guys an update with my reading I read a bit more of Dangerous Alliance I read a little bit last night and a bit this morning and I'm now on page 105 and I'm still enjoying it but I don't know there's just something about it there's like there's I guess there's a bit of a mystery element to this because something has happened between two of our main characters and we don't exactly know what it is. Like we don't know the details, like something happened. But obviously they're not telling us yet, so they're either going to tell us later, or we'll find out later, or we're going to fit the pieces in. And then there's just little bits that aren't quite together, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. And I'm still getting used to the writing style, but I do enjoy the characters, and I don't know. That's kind of my thoughts. I feel like I'm... I wouldn't say confused, but like there's bits missing, but then again I'm actually not that very far into it, but we'll see what happens, we'll see what it's like as everything goes on, and hopefully it will get better and I will be able to kind of fit the pieces together for certain aspects of the book more. So yes, so I'm going to go and go to the book fair now and take you guys along with me and we will see if we end up buying any books. <laughs> Apology in advance if you can hear my dad playing his flute because it's right underneath where I am sat. But we went to the bookstore as you saw the book fair and we were actually successful. And I didn't see any books at first but I found a few and these are kind of like shared between me and my mum because we feel like we'll be able to read them both. So we have five books so I will share them with you guys and what we have. So the first one that we have is Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney and I don't know if I've seen this before, she has another book called Normal People which I think I have seen and Waterstones and I don't know, I read the back of it. It is, it just seemed rather interesting and I will show you the blurb there if you guys want to pause it and read what it is about. But I feel like it's Something it's got a little bit to do with being performers and kind of romance and all of that sort of thing. So it just seems really interesting and I really enjoy the cover. So we'll see what we think. And also you can tell I got my fringe cut, which makes my life so much better because I can actually see again. Next up, I, we have My Summer of Magic Moments by Caroline Roberts. And this just seemed like one of those really cute contemporary novel, adult novels. I think, I don't know if it's a romance or not, I have a feeling it isn't, but again it's about an escape by the seaside, it does say romance on it actually. And there is the synopsis again if you guys want to read what it's about. But sometimes these books are just really nice to pick up, you know, they're just really cute and fluffy and maybe have a bit more of a deeper meaning, I feel like this one might, but it just seems wonderful and it's by the sea and we love being by the sea. Next up we have one that was my mum's choice and that is Women's Voices through the 2000 years of letters which is I'm guessing has been put together by Olga Kenyon and this is basically letters that famous women throughout 2000 years have written on certain topics and I think there's things like childhood and marriage and work and money and I must admit it seems really interesting so I might have to dip 
have a little dip in and out of this at some point and see what I think. Next up we have The Language of Flowers by Vanessa Differimba, I think that's how you say it, and my mum picked this out and it actually seems really interesting. It's about the Victorian language of flowers which is used to express emotion and it's about our main character who uses the language of flowers and she's been in foster care and it just seems so interesting. So again, here is the blurb if you guys want to go and read it and pause it for a second. But it just, it seems really intriguing and I think there's romance in here as well and it, the, the idea of like a language of flowers that people use just seems so interesting. So I'm really excited to get to this at some point and see what I think. And then lastly, the book that I might be most excited for is The Lido by Libby Page and Libby Page is the author of The Twin of Our Cafe which was a book that I read not so long ago and it was one of my most anticipated releases of the year and this is Libby's debut and I know that I never heard of it called a Lido but it's an outdoor public swimming pool, I think. Like, I. I'm guessing it must be a British thing but at the same time I've never heard of that before I just call it a natural swimming pool but I know that this is about female friendship again like the 24 hour cafe and I think they're trying to these two people who are called Rosemary and Kate and they're both one is a younger one and one is an older and they kind of come together to try and save their local Lido so I want to see what it's like because I really enjoy Libby's writing in the 24 hour cafe so I'm looking forward to reading her debut and I'm sure I will enjoy it and especially her writing. So these are all the books that we got and I'm very excited to read them. So now it is about half two so mum and I are actually going to go swimming now and then we're going to come back and then I'll do some stuff and I will update you guys when we come back from swimming. <laughs> so it's quite a lot later on now as you guys will probably have seen before I had a bath earlier and I read a little bit more of Dangerous Alliance and I'm on page 125 now so I am slowly slowly making some progress and I am still enjoying it there's definitely a mystery aspect going on here which I think I guessed from the synopsis of this book but I feel like one of the main topics that this book discusses is the position and expectations of women in society in the 1800s. I guess obviously because they are meant to, when they come of age, they're meant to go in society, go to all these balls, they're meant to find a husband and get married, that's what is expected of them. And our main character Vicky has to marry basically to save her family's her estate. And she wants to marry at some point but she doesn't want to take that to take away the freedom that she has and she doesn't want to feel like she's caged in like what happened to her sister so because she lives a very free life like she helps out on the with the estate like with the farm like with picking like harvesting like the fruit and veg that they have and repairing like the estate and everything like that she's very hands-on with all that sort of thing she's not your typical 1800s girl and I really love that about her but she it's kind of about her also going through the emotions of having to find a husband at the age of 17 when she only really came to society the year before so I'm really enjoying the aspect of it I I'm in waves with the writing still but I find it an interesting book in the factor of kind of like the having like the responsibility and expectations of women's from women from that era. So I'm enjoying that aspect but I'm looking forward to finding more pieces as I get into this book about things that have happened that they've kind of noted for and there's a certain character that's very charming but I don't hundred percent trust. So I don't know. It's very interesting but I haven't read a lot like I said but I read a, a few couple of pages whilst I was in the bath and then I watched Animal Crossing videos because I'm so excited for the new Animal Crossing game even though I do not have a Switch but I think I am going to get a Switch at some point just so I can play this game so yeah I am going to go to bed now and then tomorrow I have the afternoon to myself which is very nice so 
think tomorrow I'm going to do my spreads for my readathons. I need to go to the library and get one of the books for the readathon and just kind of plan for the next week and do all the, that sort of stuff. So yeah, I'm going to go to bed now and I'll see you guys at some point tomorrow. So it is now Sunday and it's actually the afternoon. It's just like half one and I just did all my usual stuff this morning, like sort of fin, yoga, etc. And I have the afternoon and the house to myself, which is really, really nice. And my original plan was to go out and do some errands, like I need to fill my cart with petrol, I need to go and get some more dry shampoo because I broke mine, which wasn't clever, and also go to the library and pick up my book that I want to get for the Backlist Readathon, which actually starts tomorrow. But I must admit I really can't be bothered going anywhere right now, like I need to do all those things, but I just... I want to just sit and eat ice cream because my throat is sore and do absolutely nothing. And I was also going to be doing the spread for my Backlist Readathon and the Animal Crossing Readathon and I was going to print some really cute pictures out, I've got them all ready and the printer needs a new cartridge. So that's not going to happen, like I can still do it, I just can't put the prints on and I'd have to draw it by hand which will take a bit longer. So yeah that's fun and I don't know what to do with myself I have sorted my video I had a video that went up this morning which was really good but I just feel like I need to chill and just enjoy the fact of having the house to myself because that doesn't always happen very often and it's just really nice to chill even though I've still got loads of stuff to sort out for next week so yeah I don't know what I'm going to do, to be perfectly honest. I would really was looking forward to doing my spread for the Animal Crossing Readathon, but for the fact that I can't print my stuff off really does not help. And the library where the book that I want actually is, is like a 20 minute drive away, which isn't far, but like, I, I can't be bothered, man, I can't be bothered. So I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I whilst I am complaining about that, I'm going to give you guys an update on my reading. I've not read it much since last time I updated you. I read some this morning, so I'm on page 143. So, slowly making it there, but I'm obviously I'm starting my TBR for the Batlist Readathon tomorrow and the Animal Crossing Readathon, and this isn't on it. So, I don't like having to put books down halfway through and then pick them up later on. So, but I feel like I can fit this in the Animal Crossing TBR because there's one about prompt which I haven't got a book for yet which is about family values and this is a lot to do with family so I feel like this would probably fit in but yeah I have no idea what I'm going to do to be honest I actually do have the book that I want an audiobook so technically I could listen to that even though I do have an audiobook for one of the readathons so I don't know I need to make my mind up and stop complaining about not knowing what to do because even though I need to go and do these things I just want to chill for a bit you know so yeah I'm going to eat my ice cream and then think about what I'm going to do some more and then hopefully I'm going to make a decision of either going to go out and do some errands or at least do a couple of them or I'm going to just stay home and chill because that sounds like a really nice idea not gonna lie and I'm also in the mood to bake and I have some leftover caramel that I made from the other week. So I might make salted caramel brownies, but I don't know. We will see. So I'm going to eat my ice cream, make a decision, and then you guys will find out what I'm going to do in literally a second, even if it's not going to be a second for me.
So it is quite a lot later on now, it is like 10 past 10 and as you guys will have seen in the clips before I ended up doing some cooking and some baking and I actually found the audiobook for my Physical Read Dangerous Alliance and Script so I listened to that whilst I was cooking and I've read quite a lot. I am on chapter 20 which is page 278 so I'm now halfway through which is very exciting and I am really enjoying the audiobook. I feel like it's just really enjoyable and sometimes it helps me understand the writing a bit better if I'm not really jamming with it. I usually go for the audiobook. I'm definitely enjoying it. So yes, I'm very excited to be continuing with this now. I feel like I'm enjoying it even though I'm still not like 100% like it's okay. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I am going to wrap this vlog up here because I've got to start my weekly first weekly reading for for the backlist and animal crossing readers on tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoy this little weekend vlog i it's fairly bookish i like to think i didn't end up obviously you guess i didn't end up going out yesterday i uh earlier this afternoon even i just kind of chilled i didn't really want to go anywhere so i just wanted to bake and cook and i did that and listened to my audiobook which was really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. If you like this video then please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more bookish videos from me then make sure you hit the subscribe button and little bell icon so you'll be noted every time I post a new video. As always I will leave the links to my social media along with the links to my goodreads in the description down below for you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!